What's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Kelly Travel Spiritually, baby. Today video about how being popular suck. <laughs> I made myself fit in at a young age just just because I wanted to be like everybody else and I wanted to be accepted. So I made a personality. I created a personality to be accepted by everybody else. Eventually, I be, that became who I was. So from there forward, I gained a lot of popularity. I became popular over time for being fake. <laughs> Faking who I was. And, you know, I look back now, I'm like, dang, if I could do one thing different, I would not have tried to fit in. I would have kept being my weird, unique self, being who I was and stuck true to what I believed in instead of trying to fit in with everybody else. Being popular suck. Many people want to be popular. They feel and they dream to fit in with everybody else. They really want to be like such and such, or they really want to be like people who are celebrities or people who are famous. You are the celebrity. You're the one who's famous. <laughs> you just got to know that, you know? And but my point is, everybody wants wants the popularity contest everybody wants to be popular it sucks okay i was popular all my life and all the way till i got grown you know it's like i attracted people to me it's like my energy was just always contagious even when i was in the darkness you know people were drawn to me and that's because i faked it everything was fake about me and i didn't even know it until i looked back i was living a fake life i was fake to people i wasn't even keeping it real with people because you know what when you got many friends how the heck can you be real to everybody? Well, you know for a fact that multiple of these people are talking about each other, talking down on each other. And you can't tell me that you ain't got some two cents to say about whatever it is they saying about somebody else. I know I did. I talked about the people. I sure did. I, I mean, I talked about them and they come in my face. And honestly, I felt weird as heck inside. But I had to brush it off like I ain't say nothing. And there were times when I would tell them what somebody else said about them because I was guilty inside because I had something to say, too. And I'd be like, hey, don't tell nobody, but this is what they said about you. And, but I had something to say, too. But the guilt, the guilt within me had me telling them, hey, they said this about you. I watch out. They're not your friends. You see what I'm saying? All alone, I'm being fake. Being popular, you got to be fake. Because you can't handle all these different energies, have all these different friends. How the heck can you please all these people? And it's tiring because you never look out for yourself. You never put yourself first. Your phone always ringing. People on your line need you for that. Want you to go here. You want to go there with me? You want to do this with me? How about this? You want to go out there? You want to go to the baseball park? You want to go to the movies? You want to go walk the mall? I mean, every time you look around, somebody needs you for something. Being popular suck. Trust me, if you're someone who wants to be popular, you don't want to be popular, bro. You don't. You rather <laughs> you rather be alone. It's the most powerful thing ever when you get to know yourself. Because when you be popular, you lose yourself. And you're going to be fake. I look at people all the time and they have many friends around. <laughs> and I think about exactly what I just told you right now. I'm like, man, I know they got to be fake. For sure. And, and they are. They're being fake. Cause like I say, somebody talking about somebody somewhere and, and the other person you like, the person that's popular is feeding into it too. You see what I'm saying? You feeding into it too. You fake. You know, you being fake. I know I was being fake. That's why I'm telling y'all this because I, I love all of me and I'm opening up all of me, baby. I'm not ashamed of anything I've done. And that's why I'm expressing it to you guys, because maybe that's you. Maybe you being fake because you always got so many people around you and it's draining you and you getting tired of it. And, and it's frustrating sometimes, you see, and you don't know how to walk away because you want to be popular. You want that. This is just something that you want. So how do you stop it? Because you feel like you want because you feel like you want to fit in. That's what being popular is. It's the connection to others. It feels good to have so many different connections to so many people. It makes you feel good. All of these people have labels on you. They like you for what they see in you, not for who you truly are. It's only what they see. Oh, she has pretty hair. She has beautiful skin. Oh, she has blue eyes. Oh, I love her long legs. You see what I'm saying? Oh, she, she runs really fast. Oh, I love the way she sings. It's all the labels that they see that makes them like you. Do they really truly know you? Do you really know yourself? 
Or are you just lost in all of this? When you really begin to be yourself, you won't be popular anymore because they ain't going to resonate to that. That ain't going to relate to them. You ain't going to relate to them. They're going to say, hey, what happened to you? What happened to you? Where, where'd you go? Like, Kelly, you're acting different. Like, for me, Kelly, you acting different. You being funny. Why you acting like that? You being real funny. You show distance. What's the other thing they say? You antisocial. You ain't like you don't see me over here. You don't want to talk to me today? Oh, so you acting like that today. Okay, yeah, you real funny for that. All right, don't come talk talk to me later when you feel like talking, when you get out your little mood. They swear it's a little mood. You, you probably just want to chill today. You just probably want to chill today and, and, and do your own thing, but you can't because the people are looking for you to entertain them. They see you for who they, how they want to see you. And you got to show up and you got to do what they say every day. You got to be that person that they expected. You see what I'm saying? That's why I'm trying to tell you today, being popular sucks. It's not what you want. It's not what you're looking for. So if you're trying to be popular or if you are popular and you think that makes you better than other people, I got news for you. It doesn't make you better than anyone. Nobody's better than anybody. We all just make different choices that better ourselves. Nobody's better than anybody. And being popular versus non-popular doesn't make the popular people win. It's just that that's what everybody thinks they want because they want to fit in. They crave the connection. They don't want to be rejected. Who likes being rejected? Nobody wants to be rejected. They want connection. As humans, we crave that connection. You know, it's just like little kids who pick on each other. One little kid maybe stood out like they may be their uniqueness is different from what everybody else is doing. They're not doing what everybody else is doing. So all the little kids are laughing at that person because they're not doing this or because they wear clothes like this or they wear their hair like this, whatever that makes them stand out. The little kids begin to discuss and talk and laugh and point fingers at them. You see what I'm saying? And I know like a few of those kids who are doing that probably feel bad inside. They, they want to go help that other kid who's shining their uniqueness, who's, de who's, who's just being unique, their unique self. They're not following what everybody else is doing. And I know as kids, some of them kids want to go over there and help that kid because that was me. But I will walk over there and help them and be with them. Don't pick on them. But I also knew many people who wanted to do it inside, but they was shamed to go help that kid. They were shamed to go over there and, and uh, let them know they're not alone. Because they thought everybody was going to treat them like that little kid got treated. Which, yeah, that might happen, but who cares? It does not matter. The little kid who shined their uniqueness, that's what we want to be like. That's what we want to do. Shine our uniqueness. Be who we are. Being true to ourselves. And not trying to be popular. And not trying to fit in with the crowd. Just because it's the new thing, the new wave, the new trend don't mean we got to get all in it. If we ain't rocking with that, we ain't got to rock with it. We don't got to rock with what type of clothes people wear because that's the way it is. I know it's tough because that's all they put out in the stores, but you can shop many places and create your own style. You see what I'm saying? So, yes, being popular sucked because it made me fake and messy. And it really made me tired and drained. And I lost myself even more playing along with this little role that I created. I thought I wanted that, but uh, I should have thought twice. So, yeah, being popular sucks. So if you want to be popular, trust me, you don't want that. You'd rather be who you really are by being yourself. Being like other people is actually the wrong way to go. Being unique is the way. I had to drop this video for you guys, y'all. I mean, I'm opening up to you guys. And I'm telling you the facts and the truths about my life and things that I've experienced. And maybe you don't see it this way. But I experienced it. So I'm putting this into your awareness because maybe this video is for you, baby. Maybe you need to hear this. Maybe you're getting caught up in your head with being popular and trying to fit in and you're losing yourself and you're tired and you're drained and you're tired of people looking for you every second. And you just want to go hide because everybody's always looking for you. Because you, life at a party, you make everybody laugh. You do all the things that they want from you. And they don't even really know who, how you feel. They don't really know who you are. They only know the labels that are put on you from others. Check this out. Make sure you hit this like button if you like videos like this. Share this video with someone you feel like need to hear this. If they're trying to fit in and be popular and it's hurting them and draining them. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the PCM family, baby, where you are loved more than you may ever know. Real talk. 
hit that subscribe button and smash that bell so you get all my newest videos that I drop. I'm spreading awareness, the love, and the light, baby. I'm sharing my experiences with you. I love you guys. You know what? Before we get off of here, I want you to put your arms around yourself and feel the love. I know you can feel that energy that I'm sharing with you, baby. I'm sharing it with you. I love you guys, man. Feel free to drop some comments down in the comment section. And feel free to come back to see me because Miss Kelly Travel Spiritually is checking out.